In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Raspberry Pi and Windows 10 IoT Core to collect telemetry data from your plant and send it to a SQL Server database that is either on premise or in the cloud. Okay, so this is the setup that I have here. I've got my Raspberry Pi that is running a UWP application generating telemetry data from this temperature and humidity sensor via its one wire protocol and also from this potentiometer via the Modbus TCP protocol. Okay, so let us begin by creating our database and preparing our SQL Server instance to accept remote connections. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to change our SQL Server authentication to mixed mode. And then we create our database And then add a new login. And then from here, we must give our user the permission to write to the database. And we set it as DB owner. And then we create a table for storing our sensor data. So here is our temperature data with a decimal data type, humidity, and our Modbus data. And then we let SQL Server generate the date time by default. Okay, so we've successfully created our database. And then the next step is to configure SQL Server to accept remote connections. Close the management studio and open the SQL Server configuration manager. And then under SQL Server network configuration, select protocols for SQL Server Express and then make sure that TCP IP is enabled. And then right click TCP IP and select properties. Select IP addresses and then scroll down to IP all. Make sure TCP dynamic ports is blank and then set your TCP port to 1433. Apply. And then restart your SQL Server service. Okay, so we already have our UWP app that is basically uh, generating telemetry data from Modbus and temperature and humidity sensors. So we are going to send that data to our remote SQL Server database. Now, because Windows 10 IoT Core is not a full OS, it doesn't automatically have access to some resources, so we must enable necessary capabilities to communicate with an external enterprise application, such as SQL Server. Okay, and then from here, we go to our c -sharp file, and then I'll put these declarations here. So here I'm creating a new SQL uh, Server connection, and then here I'm building my connection string. And then from there, I'll add my method for locking the data to the SQL Server, creating a new SQL command, and then executing it. And then here, right after generating my telemetry data, I call the method to log that data to the SQL Server. And then here on my database, I'll execute a quick query. So my table is currently empty. Okay, and then I deploy. And then now, if I select everything from sensor data, you can see our sensor data coming through. So you see our Modbus data is at 29. If I turn down the port, we're now getting 21. Now, if I want my data sent to a cloud-based server instead, I'll go to my Azure portal, SQL databases, and then I create a new SQL database. Okay, my server has been successfully deployed, so I'll go to the resource. So I'll get my database connection strings, copy it, and then I'll go to my set server firewall to allow my internet gateway device to connect to the server on the cloud so that I can connect my Raspberry Pi and my PC to the server on the cloud. 
and then I go back to my SQL Server Management Studio to connect to the database in the cloud. So I've successfully connected to my SQL Server database in the cloud. And then from here, I go into my demo DB in the cloud. And then I create my sensor data table. And then I go back to my UWP application to update my connection string. And then I deploy. And then we go to SQL Server Management Studio to see if our data is going to our database in the cloud. And there we've got our data going into our SQL Server database in the cloud. Thanks for watching. If you've got any thoughts at all on this video, I would love to hear about it in the comment section below. And if you found the video useful, please share it with your connections. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this.